Division 3's top two met down by the river on Saturday, and with less than a third of the season remaining, expectations are rising for both managers. We've had such a good start and got the points on the table early doors. We've got to win a, a, a games, of course, but if we lose a couple, it, there's, no, there's no panic, and as long as we keep our nerve, we'll be OK. We've got a third of the season to go, very important months of March and April to play, and um, you know, if we can have two good months, it'll see us up to promotion. To fulfil promotion ambitions, it helps to have a prolific scorer. Graham Jones of Wigan Athletic and Fulham's Mike Conroy are already through the 20-goal barrier. Over the years, Fulham Football Club's not had a regular goal scorer. And I mean, I'm talking about a regular goal scorer that scores 20 goals a season. Mickey Conroy is putting the icing on the cake for a lot of the boys' hard work, you know, and we're pleased to have him in that sort of form. In our division, he's probably the player that's most comparable to Alan Shearer because of basically his physical strength. Uh, and his pace. I don't think his knowledge of the game is nowhere near as uh, sizeable as Allen's, nor his bank balance, but that's for the future. Nearly 10,000 Fulham's biggest gaze of the season witnessed a match predictably tight and tense. Wigan struck first early in the second half. Jones initiated the goal with a header to the overlapping Gavin Johnson, who crossed for David Lowe once of Ipswich and Leicester to score with a clinical finish. Wigan's players and their 1,500 travelling supporters knew that goal would take them level on points with Fulham if they could hang on to it. But with eight minutes remaining, Conroy finally made a telling contribution. Inside the Wigan area, he fell under John Butler's challenge and Fulham had a hotly contested penalty. Mark Blake grabbed the ball and the responsibility. 1-1 was just about fair. The teams and their top scorers had cancelled each other out. If you were scoring 20 goals at the end of the season, you'd have taken that. So we're only mid-February now, I've got 20 in the, in the bag, so I don't feel under any pressure. And it just goes to show that, you know, it's not only me that can hit the back of the net. I think I've got something like 22 in about 28 games, which is a decent ratio. But I've got to thank the lads for that, because the amount of chances that's created every game, um, to be honest with you, it's hard not to score. It's very tough no matter where you play to score goals. And any man who scores 20 goals plus in a season must be given credit.